Greetings, programs. I am Young Napoleon, and I want to welcome you to episode 37 of my inaugural Let's Play series, Redux Part 3. Uh, let's see, in the last episode, we finished our war with the Empire of Mexico, acquiring Jalisco. Oops, nope, don't do that. Go up to Dallas. Uh, let's see, yeah. So, we've got, so we are the proud owners of a fish province, another fish province, some iron, exactly what we wanted, uh, some fish, and oh, we've got some timber now. So all those capitalists that were wanting to build a, a lumber plant finally have a region to do so. Uh, and let's see, I know that I want to build a, whatchamacallit, factory of the Oh, Jalisco's already got some factories. What have we got here? They've got a luxury clothes factory. And good. A regular clothes factory. We are going to... Let's see. How many people do they got in here? 62, 55, and 24,000. Wow! A level 4 regular clothes factory. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> so they've got a ton of factories here but what we want is a steel factory because the steel is going to take iron and turn it into well steel which is exactly what we want because steel is good and steel is useful in a lot of other things <laughs> particularly uh well let's go let's go take a look shall we we're gonna go ahead and get that started building that we're going to is there a way to just shut it down? I know I can cancel the subsidies here. We're, gonna, we're definitely going to do that. I don't need to be paying for any of this. And then once this is built, we'll prioritize it. Because I don't want to just flat out shut it down and let's like turn all those people into uh, unemployed because then my uh, social subsidies are going to go through the roof. I mean, I'm still making bank, so it's not a huge problem, but... Uh, so there. Uh, what projects we got going? Nothing, because they can't start anything on their own. Santa Fe. Santa Fe. My Argentinian folks. Got an extra 10,000. Let's go ahead and pump up the fuel refinery there. Uh, nope. Oops. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay. So apparently left click raises the priority, cycles through the priority going up. And then right clicking cycles through the priority list in reverse, going from, from high to low. So left click to go up, right click to go down, but then like a clock, it kind of circles all the way back around. Left clicking, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to leave all these at zero. Once this gets built, we'll stick it all the way up at three. Uh, in Chihuahua, they're all using different resources, so I don't think I need to prioritize. And we've got leftover. However, this, because I've got the die here, I think is why this is so profitable. Clerks, clerks. Clerks. We'll let that sort itself out. I wanted to look at what steel is useful for. Oh. Uh, production. Steel. Raw materials. Industrial goods. Steel is used in artillery. It's used in automobiles. Clipper convoys. Machine parts. Small arms. It's used in a ton of stuff. So... Having a steel factory is a good precursor, I think, to additional factories. Is it used in, like, tanks? Automobiles? No. Military goods. I'd like to build a, a tank factory. But I don't know what goes what goes into a tank factory. Let's see. Let's just look around a little bit. Let's 
not in alphabetical order. Paint factory. Require daily input. I have no idea what that little symbol is. That's probably machine parts. I have no idea what that little symbol is, nor... Oh, that looks like automobiles. Okay, so I'd have to build some automobiles. Artillery, probably. I do not know what that is. Maybe I can see the symbol over here somewhere. I started to say stop me if you spot it, but I, this is kind of a little late if you spot it. Uh, but, I mean, if I don't find it and you do notice it, let me know. Ah, here we go. Uh, electric gears. Oh, let's see. I'm guessing they're industrial. Yep. How do I build? What goes into electric gears? I can't. Whatever goes into it, I can't build it yet, so. I uh, probably need to research more in the electricity area of things, maybe. Let's see. Inventions, electric medicine light bulb. Electric Gear Factory, there we go. All right, we'll, we'll shoot for electricity next, then, after neoclassical theory. All right, we're bringing our boys home. We're building the factory. Uh, we've got a new region here. Let's go ahead and start popping you up. Control, build in all provinces. We'll go ahead and expand the rail, railroad, railroads. Okay, go ahead and build, uh, increase the naval base there. Okay, so let's see. I kind I think my next region that I'm going to peel off from Mexico might be um, Zacatecas, just to <laughs> reduce the, some of this border gore. I mean, it's not the worst border gore ever, but it is starting to look a little funky. Uh, oh, we got Haiti. Forgot all about Haiti. I wonder if I can um, talk to France yet. Oh, they're probably not. They're going to like me even less now. Uh, military access. Like I say, I feel like that's gone down. Okay, neoclassical theory. What did I say? Electricity, just to start working on that. Or maybe I get that discovery at some point. It is kind of silly. Now, once Without Texas joining, apparently the U.S. never triggers that um, Manifest Destiny event. So they don't really go after anything there. I don't know if they even have cores on these regions. No, they don't. Uh, let's see. What am I doing? I'm just passing time now, waiting for things to unfold. No decisions to make. It's 1910. I don't know if the game ends in 1936 or not. It might. Pre Dreadnought. That was construction of battleship. Our, our scientists have discovered Gustav von Schmoller. We're still sitting at 13. I guess they're going to try and take care of that. When, when does my truce expire? 1914. So four years until we can peel off another region. Uh, looking at the RGOs, what do we got? We've got some grain and grain. Not the most exciting stuff. Oh, we've got oil. But this might be... Is this their capital region? Mexico City? It is not. Excellent. Texan Free Corps. France about if they have something less. Let's see. Uh, become 40% more fascist? Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Our soldiers gain militancy and consciousness. What? This is awkward. All soldiers in Durango become 40% more fascist and they gain some militancy or they gain some militancy and some consciousness. Um, I guess I guess we'll do that. I don't, I don't actually know how to handle the these fascist events. Where are, where are my borders? I want to keep my borders contiguous if I can 
I don't help it. So no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This region might be my next one. Okay. What do I have here? Grain and sheep. Gives me wool. 127, that's a pretty good size population. 130, yeah, yeah. We'll come down in here. Start to monopolize the oil. That should weaken them some more, so make it even easier to pick off more stuff. This game, I think, is just turning into just Texas eats Mexico. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Working on electricity, exporting. We're still not exporting, I thought. I would have thought for sure that my fuel would be going. Maybe I'm using it. I don't know. Has anybody sphered me yet? Yes, I'm back in the USA sphere. Dadgummit. And they're protecting me again. <laughs> USA. Come on, show me the USA. Uh, let's see. They're allied with Liberia and the USCA. I'm not protecting the USA. Why is that in there? Oh, well, at least they're not allied with Mexico and they're not protecting Mexico. As long as they steer clear there. Does this mean, I wonder if the decision is back? Apply for statehood, leave a sphere of influence. Fine, whatever. I'm still making money. I don't care. Uh, let's see, we're at this point though, we're just waiting for the truce to wear off and building up technology. Can I build any more soldiers? I guess as everybody can build some more in Africa. Oh, I can build some more in North American troops. Okay, let's see what we've got then. Finish the research of electricity. Line limits going up, that's good. Very good, okay. Uh, let's move back to... Oh, wow. Hmm, I can't do anything here. 1819. Navy, let's, I guess let's start working on Navy, building these guys up a little bit. Uh, maybe, can I build, can I build a battleship? I must discover steam turbine ships to build dreadnoughts, that's fine. Uh, attack isn't as good, the hull isn't as good. Firing rate isn't as good, so dreadnoughts are better. They're slower than cruisers, but they've got more attack. Uh, cruisers have torpedo attack, apparently. What do we need? Um, let's build a battleship and let's see, let's build a couple of cruisers. And then close that. Let's see, in the army. What do I want to what do I want to do here? These guys. Well, I wanted to check my combat width. What's that at right here? Still at fifteen. Uh, so these guys they are not full out yet. I want to give them two more infantry, then then we'll be satisfied there. Military, build army. Oh, I'm still trying to build tanks, aren't I? Uh, that's not going anywhere because I don't have the components. Like, nobody's nobody's manufacturing the tank parts. So let's go ahead and cancel you. Uh, build army. Infantry. What do we got here? Guadalajara and Puerto Vallarta. We can both build one. Let's do that. That'll finish off the front line in the third army, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so we'll get them going. 
and we're building railroads we're building the factory it's almost done Let's speed things up a little just to let it uh we're improving the fuel refinery i wonder if it's shut down maybe that's why it's not a shut down where it's no it's still making money uh bolivia no thanks let's see we're still building oh technology I suspect that building all of these really expensive ships are going to going to send my thing through the roof. So, um, couldn't hurt to have good organization there, right? Well, I feel like my edge. Well, no, that dropped down a little bit. Let's go ahead and. I don't know. I, again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, at this point in the game, I'm just kind of clicking on anything. Uh, let's Sure, let's start with some experience. Or do I want to work on the electric furnace? That's a lot of extra coal and iron. Why not, right? Stainless steel is an invention. What does that do? Steel production output five. Assembly line. Oh, yeah. I want to, I want to build airplanes. Invention Fordism, airplanes production output. What's it going to take to build? I don't see anything in there right off the bat. Um, military, build army. Must discover aeronautics to build airplanes. Okay. Where do you think that is? Fordism, industrialized refrigerator. Nope. Let's see, is aeronautics somewhere in here already? Not seeing it. Commerce. Let's see, organization, market function. I really don't feel like it would be in there. Uh, I wonder if it's up here somewhere. Aeronautics, there we go. Military science. Okay, so this isn't coming up until 1919. Um, well, then in that case, where was my industry? Let's go ahead and get the assembly line going up. We'll, we'll work on my, my commerce here. Uh, and pause. Is the factory coming up yet? Almost. We're getting there. Electrical lighting, factory throughput tech. Very good. Oh, these are shut down. I guess they've all piled into this one, yeah. Um, that was something just finished building. I heard the sound effect. Fascists are rising. Socialists are still in charge, though. Oh, that was my steel. Okay. So I'll put you at third. So let the... Let you guys start filling up. Ah, those would be my units. That's the drum roll that I'm hearing. Uh, I know I've got a lot to spare, so we're going to go ahead and pump you up. And let you get started. Irving Fisher, permanent prestige. Nut Wixel, permanent prestige. Meteor Strikes Anguska. Devastating Fireball in Siberia. Destroyed forests and caused worldwide tremors. Huh. And William Cunningham. Must have hit the. Nope. And pause. Okay. We're still sitting on 3,800 unemployed. That's fine. Oh, we've got a lot of unemployed in Durango. Um, what was that? Oh, I think that... Was that a ship? It was. That's my battleship. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's send you boys. Up to Dallas. I 
Very good. Contributing to the war efforts. Alrighty then, I think. I think we're gonna go ahead and call it there for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Today's episode was not quite as exciting as the previous episodes this week. We're just consolidating. But at any rate, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to do all that YouTube stuff. I would, as always, take it as a kindness. And always remember, sometimes you win and sometimes you learn. Hope we all learned something today, and I'll see you next time.